Howdy there, my name is Neil Fisher. Uh, my wife and I, Teresa, moved to, uh, co uh, from Colorado to Pahuska, Oklahoma, where we have Old West Buffalo Company. We're four miles west of town on Highway 60, and we certainly give a great and fun experience, uh, as we call it, a bison sideline pass to see what these animals are like up close and personal for the last number of years. We've been raising bison for about two and a half decades and we wanted to share our love for bison through a very unique experience. Coming today are some guests who are gonna experience our buffalo encounter. Uh, we refer reference them as buffalo because during the 1800s, most people called them that, you can call them bison, but you certainly would love to see what they're like up close. And so our buffalo encounter involves about an hour and 15 minutes of spending time with bison as, a, as if you had a sideline pass to see what they're like. Uh, our guests today will experience our 12-minute film that, that tells their story. Uh, go out in our wagon ride down in the valley and we get surrounded by bison. You get to hand feed them and touch them. They don't like to be petted, but they do trade you a, a treat for a pet and, and, a, and uh, touch them on the nose and it's a fun experience. Then when we come back to the, our theater, which we built for our bison dinner theater shows, uh, we'll go upstairs to our Bison Hall of Fame and it's really important to share about the seven individuals who individually got together and saved the bison from, ex from certain extinction when the government did really li too little and too late. And that's kind of fun to, to realize that uh, individuals were the ones that started the whole conservation movement in our country. Uh, other things we do are really fun is we have a, a, a Buffalo Days Festival called uh, Buffalo Days in November. It celebrates National Bison Day. It's a Friday night dinner show. All day Saturday rendezvous. So you'll see a bunch of uh, characters from the Old West, Charles Goodnight, Theodore Roosevelt, Wyatt Earp, Pony Express riders, all kinds of Old Western folk wandering around. We have cowboy camps, chuck wagon food, uh, teepee set up, and we feature a bison art festival and uh, have music and storytellers. It runs all day, 9.30 to 7 p.m. at night. That's one you would want to definitely put on your schedule. And our dinner shows we do throughout the summer, and those are on Saturday nights, and that's a two and a half hour experience of this whole smaller experience we're doing today, but we tell it with live actors. So we our main two actors are Theater, Good, uh, Theater Roosevelt and Charles Goodnight, and they uh, do a great job of getting our guests back in the 1800s and helping them realize how important this whole Save the Bison thing was for our country at that time. So. If you love bison or you're curious about them and want to know more, this is a great experience. Heck, in about an hour and 15 minutes, you'll know more than most people who raise them. So hopefully you can come join us sometime, and I think our guests are showing up. So uh, here's the experience we have. Now, so anyway, um, we'll get to we'll toast the safety spiel so we're not inside. The wagon's a lot of fun, uh, but it is, it is not equipped with airbags, so it's bumpy. And it's really important you stay seated the entire time. We're going to get down to the gate. I've got to stop. And don't stand up if the bison come up there, because I'll have to take off pretty quick. So I'll look around, but if anybody stands up while I'm driving, you can fall down. So I just need you. I'll let you know when we get down in the valley. I'll say, OK, everybody can stand up, and that's your cue. Just because we have to get into that pasture without either they letting them out or anybody not mm -hmm. running one over. So. Well, they'll chase us in. <laughs> <laughs> now, if there's a Mexican standoff with Woody, then that's always interesting because he's the only bison that I can't intimidate with the tractor. He's pretty much mono a mono with the tractor. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, he is part Canadian woods bison, part plains bison. Uh, a kid in Colorado said, well, why don't you call him Woody? So that was. <laughs> anyway, we'll head out to the wagon. It's important you see the rails. Just feed them over the top. If you stick your hand through that, those gates, or the, the, if they move quick and they do always do, or if one gets pushed away, if your hand is in those slats, you can get hurt. So just over the top, uh, and that's. Uh, I'll show you how to feed them when we get down there. So we'll head on out. So if we can keep Woody distracted at one corner of the wagon, the others will come. If you don't understand that, what he's going to do is go around as fast as he can to get all your treats. <laughs> and he has, he's got a PhD in stealing everything you have. And he's really good at it. He's very smart, so we distract him, okay? So whoever's feeding him, if the long ones you want to probably see what you have. 
this last match I got for him a longer than usual. They don't, he doesn't chew. Oh, so he's like, these are like pills. You know, I've seen him get kind of <laughs> caught in his throat. So he kind of makes sure the long ones get broken. He will stick out his that? tongue like the no. others do, and then you can just beat him. These, like okay. these long ones, long they get stuck in their throat. You want to break them? And that gives them great big ones. Besides that, they will last longer. I just saw your elbow like this in the form of yeah, right underneath it. Yeah, so I'm just here for safety reasons. Ah. You see how he's interested in where we can Yeah. Yeah, just to see how he sticks his tongue out. Oh, what? Grandma's all about it. He did drop it, then he went down the ground. He'll just kind of... He'll just throw it out. Babies? Not yet. Whoa. Is it not time? Well, we, in Colorado, we never really had calves until mouth. almost July. <laughs> so they've been here a year, so I think they're ah, adjusting oh, next oh, year. Oh, oh my, you <laughs> dropped it! And they've gone through such a significant change. You know, it affects even breeding. Well, interesting. Oh, he's four. He's here from the West Coast. Yeah, he's here from the West And they've been in Oklahoma how long now? Just a year. Yeah. Okay. You see this one over here that's really black haired on his head? Yeah, and he has yeah. oh, Some of them are very dark in their color, and some of them are very dark all brown. Oh, wow. That is, that's, we call him the backup bull to Woody. Especially <laughs> that Woody has gotten more interested in eating than breathing. <laughs> Explains the size. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's older. <laughs> He's older. Bison that will walk in a trailer by me with me today. Really? Wow. I, I have one gate that I opened over here. It's kind of a short gate. I opened at 5 in the morning. I didn't see him. So it's about I don't to have any more. His face is right in front of me. I can't There's a whole bucket. Oh. <laughs> he sticks his head right at me. You get a what? Boy, he just moved that one That's what I'm way. saying. I told him that he's the king of the hill. Yeah. yeah. He is cool. He, he, there's one he will never understand. He doesn't Emily. understand care. <laughs> it's not in his head like the February. They're not slimy. They're just hats on. Yeah. Like chicken. No, I don't have any more, buddy. So that's why we never bother with ours. It's worth it. Yeah. It's worth it. No, what if you don't have any? I don't have any. Those are flies tend to get try to get into their skin and kind of bite at them. And so when they have those little scabs, that's from their horns. 
they'll use the horns to get the flies off. A lot of times they'll scrape their skin, and it just creates a like a scab. Now they do heal over pretty fast. Is it, is it just like a scab for us, basically, for them though? Yeah, it's kind of like that. I mean, it doesn't. I don't think yeah. it hurts them. I, you know, it's just they have. They're really yeah. tough animals. But when it's raining all the time, it's hard to keep them sprayed down with fly spray oh, yeah. every day. I mean, we had like two weeks of straight off. rain. Well, you would know that. I would know that. <laughs> <laughs> if you're from here, you would know that. We have a lot of rain. So we're going to, I think everyone's out of feet, just grab a uh, <laughs> photo and we're going to head back to Where the front of the bridge. And if, you, if your buckets are empty, we'll just put them up here on the floor. Otherwise, they'll fall off. And I'm from Chicago. This is a big change. Yeah, it's really tall Got any more of them treats? Yeah. I saw you got treats. Come on. I can stand up for a minute. I can only do that with about four of them. Oh yeah. Or five of them. Because the other ones that think I'm a bison, they're like, yeah, I know who you are. Uh -huh. You're not show. My goal is to try to manage them without becoming part of the herd. Yeah. That's a, that's a close line in this kind uh -huh. of thing.